Okay, guys, it's almost time for me to head out now on the uh, Suzuki SX250 sub. Decided now just to put a couple of accessories on it. Now, you might recall that the uh, yellow one I had only took it out in the first run and it went down in the mud and had a bit of trouble getting it up. And the reason you have so much trouble lifting these is there's really nowhere to grip onto anywhere along here, so it's a long body all the way up. So, uh, first off, and it arrived today, is the um, rear rack. Uh, framework So you know that means I can toss that saddle bag over either side fill it up with either Camera gear drones anything like that when I start getting out doing this dirt road running on this particular bike and um, Like I said, I'll probably go Yeah, I'll go ahead and fit that one now and just see how it looks so uh, I think that'll come in handy or what I want and uh the only problem was, or I thought it was a bit of a problem at first, when it arrived today, it was, um, oh, the box was damaged, and that's always a bit of a problem when you get something out of India, because if the box is damaged, you're wondering if the bolts in that have fell out, and if you're going to have to go chasing spare parts for it elsewhere, but I think at this stage, um, everything's in there, and this one's there, in the package, so they appear to be good. So I'll be able to go ahead now, fit this up and uh, see how that looks and then after that the next thing coming along will be the crash bar system for it and I hope to get this all out of the way in the next couple of weeks and so it's ready because it's cooling down a bit here now. Yes, yeah, so I was looking at the direction, oh, well with no directions or instructions on how to fit those racks but I sort of worked it out fairly easy. So you're... Um, Passenger seat here that has to be removed, which is pretty easy on this particular bike. You just get there, key it, turn it, rip it straight off. Then in this section here, you've got four. So you've got these two here, and under the seat there, or just in this section here, another two here. So if you uh, do that one, that will get rid of those. And the last thing would be down here on the rear foot peg. You've just got to remove that and I think it's uh, a supplied bolt with it where you can uh, put the new one in there and the framework attaches to that. So I think it's only a three part thing there to get into it and put it together and I'll just uh, do that right now. Yeah so that's one plus with these Suzuki's even though they don't cost you much money to buy they put them together pretty well. Look at that shot of the dog there. Bring Yeah, so it's just a matter of click the screw, or should I say turn the key, pull her out, it's that quick. That's a really fast job there, and you're down to the stage now where you're going to remove four bolts, 12mm, two at the back, two at the side. So like I said these are all 12 mil so it's a fairly easy extraction here. And then you're right into the area then after that's just straight to the foot pegs. So I've got the four bolts there. This is out of the way just to take the lift off there and everything's clear there now so that'll be ready now to go into the rack side next thing will be down here in the passenger foot peg and you'll see it's got a split pin underneath it's just a matter of remove that split pin pull out the peg and that part rear racks gone so all four bolts there are clear out the way down here we've got the foot peg out I was pretty lucky here because they were just floating around in the box and as you could see there was a hole in the box and I was lucky a small package like this wasn't sort of um, you know knocked out of the hole and it would have been easy just to uh, I don't know tape them just to the side of the framework over there and you'd know where they were and they weren't floating around the bag so if you look at these screws set up, these two big ones here, they're the ones that's going to go into the rear foot pegs, one each side. 
and these four here to the frame. So the other thing is, is when you look at the framework for this uh, saddlebag carrier, notice how that one there points towards the uh, rear of the bike, that's the one you'll be using there. So, uh, you know, if you put the wrong one on, it'll be facing the wrong way and you'll have to pull it back out and do it again. But uh, it's fairly simple, once you look at it that way, you've got two holes here at the side, and that'll be the area where you attach the box through and that bracket. And after that, everything's right to go to set it back up to. That was fairly easy to do, but it was a bit difficult to put it on the bike. So easy to do this part here where you put your bolts in, set her up here like this. But the idea is when you put these, I put this one down here first on the uh, passenger foot peg just to hold it in place. So it's no use tightening this one right up at the moment. It'll be just matter of fit the screws to the other. I'll pull the other one out at the foot peg, put this one back in, and uh, then put the uh, rack back onto it, and then go from there, and then we'll have a look at it and see what you think. So now where I've got the racks on fairly loose, and if you come up here now, they're sort of lining up in the holes just there. Like so. Now there is plenty of room, so I can just move it back and forth, but until I get the rack sitting in place and then start threading it down, that's when we go from there and tighten it right up. So at this stage, pretty happy how things are going. So on the final stage here now, I've got the rack sort of roughly sitting in position again. Just have to tighten it down a bit now. And surprisingly, compared to some things you buy from overseas, these actually fit pretty good. So, uh, you know, overall things are looking alright on that side, so it won't take much trouble at all to adjust it, I think, and get in position. I'll work on its top ones here first. Do it. I'm going to do a crisscross pattern, take it down fairly close. Then I might check my bottom adjustment here. Yeah, not bad play there, so all good there. About the same here. So rather than tighten it any further, I'll go down and tighten the bottom. Okay, all good there. Yeah, so here's a quick look of how the bike looks at the moment with those pannier racks uh, installed. So I think they look fairly neat, look the part. So I'm fairly happy with how things are going in that line. Both of them on there. Here's a bit better look there. So what we might do now is swing over and just fit one of my Royal Enfield saddlebags on it and just see how that looks. Give us a bit of an idea how it goes in that line. But overall, those ones here blend in with the bike real well. They don't look out of place. Nice and solid, I'd say, too. Yep. So, all good there. So we'll swing over now and I'll just show you a shot now with one saddlebag on to see what you think there. There you go, so that's about brushes this one up here now. So I've uh, now fitted the uh, pannier bag there. Now that's a Royal Enfield one, but I was just curious to see what it was like. I've got another one in there too, but I don't think I worry too much about what brand it is. It's whether or not I can get one to fit there all right, serve the purpose and carry the gear I want. So at this stage, that's the um, rear um, pannier racks in place. What I'm after next is a, um, a plate here for the uh, back section so I can put something on that one there and then I'm just waiting then for the uh, crash bars to arrive and I can get onto that side, fit the crash bars and then go for the um, sump guard. Now the reason I'm doing the sump guard last is because the uh, I'd like to get the crash bars on there first and see how much room I've got underneath in case 
I fork out $250 for a set of, uh, or for a sump guard, and the sump guard doesn't fit and it has to be modified. So next up will be when they arrive, the fitting of the crash bar, and uh, they should get things under control there. I'm fairly happy how that, even that infill bag sits at the back because the main purpose would be to carry a little bit more expensive stuff in it. Uh, I don't know how this exhaust will go, but I've had uh, pannier bags on other bikes where the pannier has actually hit the exhaust and burnt the bottom out. So I think at this stage there's still a fair bit of clearance, probably five or six inches between that and the bag. And like I said, I've got another set of bags in there, but they would be a little bit more difficult to fit, and I don't think, and a lot more expensive bag too. So if you ruin those ones, these ones it doesn't matter about it. And it's only going to be on there every now and again when I go on a longer trip. You know, if you want to carry a bit of water food, stuff like that with you, which I'm planning on doing on some of these long runs as we go into winter. So that's the purpose of getting this bike ready at the moment. So far, so good. And uh, I think overall, that uh, penny on the back, that even though it's Royal Enfield, still looks pretty good on the bike. And when you look at it at the back, no point in putting one on the other side because this is only just for a demo, but uh, you know, it gives you an idea. So once again, you know, um, you can tune in on the next one when we go to the uh, part two of fitting of the crash bars or rear rack, whatever the case is, and I'll catch up with you then. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, some of you may be wondering if I uh, have give part three of fitting of the cam to the classic 350 reborn the ace but not the case i did that a couple of weeks ago and i'm still working on it it'll still go up there because there's some really good tips on that clip and there's a couple of areas where it's well worth a novice to have a look at that it hasn't been into the motor and uh you know, you know say making a pretty expensive mistake so i will put that one up there you know maybe in the next week i'd say could even be friday it's just hard to say in that point so once again We'll catch up with you on the next clip, then bye for now.